Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Dr. Ayan from the Veteran Anatomy channel. Today we will talk about uh, the muscles of the elbow joint in the dog. So let's get started. Uh, in this area, in the medial view, cranial to the humerus, this is the humerus, here we can see this muscle here. This is the biceps brachii. The biceps brachii originate from the supraglenoid tubercle, that tubercle which we can find in front of the glenoid cavity and inserts to the radial and ulnar tuberosities on the medial side of the radius and ulna. Let me show you the bone again here. In this case, let's go to the cranial view. If you remember, this tubercle here called the supraglenoid tubercle. So the biceps brachii originate from this tubercle here. The tendon of the biceps brachii moves inside this groove, which is called the intertubercle groove, which is formed by the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle of the humerus and after that we will have the muscle here and as I said before the muscle inserts to the um, radial tuberosity and ulna tuberosity on the medial side of the radius and ulna. This is the origin and insertion of the biceps brachii. Here as we describe the tendon of the biceps brachii moves inside the intertubercle groove and here to um, fix this tendon inside the groove we can find this ligament called the transverse ligament. The transverse ligament is there to fix the tendon of the biceps brachii exactly inside the groove and don't allow it to move out. The biceps brachii is innervated, as you can see here, uh, by the musculocutaneous nerve. So the musculocutaneous nerve sends a branch here for the innervation of the biceps brachii. The function of the biceps brachii, in this case, we have to think about the origin and insertion. So the main function of the biceps brachii, if you contract this muscle, you will find that, that you know this muscle is there for the flexion of the elbow joint. So the biceps brachii flexes the elbow joint, and at the same time, at the same time, the biceps brachii is very important for the extension of the shoulder joint. So the biceps brachii again is flexor of the elbow joint and extensor of the shoulder joint. Now we will talk about the triceps muscle. The triceps muscle has in the dog actually four heads, not only three like the other animals. Four heads, the biggest one, so here, this is the deltoid muscle, we have just to move it to the side to see the, the first head of the triceps uh, a muscle. So let, let me firstly tell you that the triceps fills the area between or caudal to the shoulder joint between the scapula and the humerus. The first head of the triceps brachii is the long head. This is the long head of the triceps brachii. The long head of the triceps brachii originates from the caudal border of the scapula here and inserts on the olecranon tuberosity, olecranon tuberosity. This is the long head of the triceps brachii. Here, I just want to mention that there is a very flat muscle found in this area, which covers the long head of the triceps brachii called the tensor muscle of the fascia antibrachii or tensor muscle of the antibrachial fascia. The tensor muscle of the antibrachial fascia originates in this case from the, 
from the tendon of the latissimus dorsi, this is the rest of the latissimus dorsi. So the tensor muscle of the uh, antibrachial fascia originate from the latissimus dorsi and inserts here to the antibrachial fascia and to the uh, uh, olecranon tuberosity. Again, so this was the long head of the triceps brachii. Here in the lateral view, we can see also the lateral head of the triceps brachii. This is the lateral head of the triceps brachii originates from the lateral proximal surface of the uh, humerus and inserts, as you can see here, to the olecranon tuberosity. Let me show you the bone here. So here, the long head of the triceps brachii originate from the caudal border of the scapula and inserts to the olecranon tuberosity, while the lateral head of the uh, triceps brachii originate from this area here, the lateral proximal area of the humerus and inserts to the same area, the olecranon tuberosity. So, if we want to see the other two heads, we have to move to the medial side. In the medial view here, we can see this muscle here, is the medial head of the triceps brachii. The medial head of the triceps brachii originate from the medial proximal surface of the humerus. Sorry. So medial proximal surface of the humerus and inserts to the olecranon tuberosity. This is the medial head of the triceps brachii. Now between the medial head of the triceps brachii and the lateral head, we can see the accessory head. So this is here the accessory head. Let's go to the lateral view again and try to look at it from there. So this is the lateral head. And here we have the accessory head of the triceps brachii. The accessory head of the triceps brachii originate from the caudal proximal part of the humerus, like from this area here, and inserts on the olecranon tuberosity. Olecranon tuberosity. So this is the four heads of the triceps brachii. The function of the Triceps brachii is to flex the shoulder joint because of the origin of the long head of the triceps brachii from the scapula, caudal border of the scapula. So flex the shoulder joint and extend the elbow joint. Extend. So contraction of this muscle, look, contraction of this muscle will extend the elbow joint. Okay? Innervation of this muscle is by the radial nerve. The radial nerve innervates all of these four heads. And here, under the lateral head of the triceps brachii, if we move it to the side, we can see here the radial nerve. This is the radial nerve, which directly here in this area uh, divides and gives two branches. The deep branch for the extensor muscles here, it goes deeply there and the superficial branch of the radial uh, nerve which moves under the skin here to the manus. So this was the triceps brachii. Here notice please just that you know the long head extends between the scapula and the olecranon tuberosity while the other three heads extends between the humerus uh, to the olecranon tuberosity of the anna. Here in the lateral view, we can also see the anconius muscle. The anconius muscle is a small triangular muscle located just under the uh, distal part of the lateral head of the triceps uh, uh, brachii in this area inside the olecranon fossa. This muscle here is the anconius muscle. The anconius muscle originates from the lateral supracondylar crest here and inserts to the olecranon tuberosity. So let me show you exactly the origin and insertion of this muscle here. So the anconius muscle located exactly where my finger are. 
So here from the lateral supracondylar crest here and serves to the olecranon tuberosity lateral cervus here. The anconial, uh, the anconious uh, muscle is innervated also by the radial nerve. Okay, here in the lateral view also we can see the uh, brachialis muscle. This is the brachialis muscle which moves inside what's called the brachial groove or the spiral groove of the humerus. The spiral groove of the humerus. It originates actually from the caudoproximal part of the humerus. Let me show, the, show you the picture here, uh, the bone here. So it originates actually from this area here of the humerus and inserts medially, so it moves inside this spiral groove of the humerus and inserts medially to the radial and ulnar tuberosities. This is the brachial muscle, the brachial muscle or brachialis muscle. The brachialis muscle is responsible for the flexion of the elbow joint. Okay, in the uh, cranial view of the forelimb in the dog here, we are looking now for another two deep muscles which are located actually under the extensor carby radialis so uh, i will move the extensor carby radialis to the side completely and here we can find two muscles located deeply directly on the bones the first one which is located on the medial side here is the terrace um, the brunator terrace the brunator terrace originates from the medial epicondyle of the humerus and serves to the cranial service of the radius uh, the function of this muscle the function of this muscle is to rotate the forearm medially rotate the forearm medially so contraction of this muscle will move the arm medially like this the other muscle which is located laterally in this area here originate between the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts to the cranial service of the radius here we are talking about the subnator muscle so this is the subnator muscle contraction of this muscle will move the forearm laterally just like this laterally now look at my hand so moving um, the the there's uh, uh, the brunator terrace muscle will move my hand like this medially medially while the subnator muscle or contraction of the subnator muscle will move my hand just like this or the forearm of course like this you know to the outside so this is pronator subnator pronator subnator so here for both muscles let me just show you so this is exactly the same view the cranial view medially so the of course it's not the same this is here the right and this is the left for limb so the the uh, brunator terrace uh, originate from the medial epicondyle here and serves to the cranial surface of the radius while the subnator muscle originate from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus and inserts to the same area here cranial surface of the radius